What's good fellas, Chaos here, bringing you guys another video. Now you guys have asked for this video specifically, tons of you guys commented in the 3v5 video that you guys would like an update to the coverage defense. That's no problem, man. We're bringing you guys a coverage update today. I'm gonna show you guys a lot of the different things that I like to do, um, and a lot of the different options that you have that you can really, really get adjusted from. So let's 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 hope that we can get uh, about 250 likes on this video. If we can get about 250, I'll bring you guys another tip to help you guys get better at the game. But you guys have been so supportive. I really appreciate you guys for that. As always, if you guys like what I run on offense and defense, um, just check out my game plays are on Twitch. Um, check out the description. I drop you guys my ebooks with literally all the stuff that I run. Um, and it can really help you guys get better at the game. Jump, let's jump into this video. Okay, guys. So I'm just gonna basically do what I did last time. I'm gonna go through the. I'm just gonna go through my formation. Uh, I like to adjust out of this Tampa 2 shell, but I really create it, like create anything with it. Um, I'm just going to go through and show you guys a bunch of different things that you can do, just so that you guys have the capability of. So first and foremost, I already did a video on this. Um, I'll put it in the card above me in the top right. Um, if you want to cross man this nickel, so you have to do the first adjustment out of the huddle, but you just come out, if you're on him, you flip it, and now you can cross man square. You see that? So he's crossing all the way across the field. So if you just flip him and hold him, it registers as if he's on the opposite side of the field on the running back side. That's all I'm gonna talk about in this. If you guys don't understand it, check out the video on the card and you guys will understand it. So that's something you guys can do. Another thing that you guys can do is, let me reset here, um, bluff blitz this guy. When you bluff blitz him from his blitzing position, he goes into a three rack. And then uh, you probably wouldn't want this vert hook and mid read there because you're gonna have a lot of yellows. So maybe you'd want to hard flat this guy. So now you have a Mabel on the right, right? So you have a cloud and a hard flat to take away any flood concepts they might do, like uh, corner strike, Z spot, etc. And then you can use around this mid read and you have a vert hook on the back side. Or maybe you want to spy this guy because they have Vic, right? So that's something you guys can do. That's probably my probably my base setup is this against almost any formation. <clears throat> any trips, doubles, bunch, anything like that. I usually will Mabel one side, hard flat, cloud flat, three wreck this guy, and spy here. I do that a ton. Um, we'll go ahead and reset uh, reset the play here. So, like I said, if they're if they're killing me, so if they're playmakering, so like if they're in bunch, right? And they have Pat Sale. Maybe I want to cross man Pat Sale, and I I do this, and that'll take away their playmaker drag. So that's something you guys can do. If they're killing you guys with corner routes, like deep corner routes, maybe deep crossers, um, which you can get out of the route specialist, or if they're just in like a trips, or uh, just any formation with a deep corner route, you can um, baseline press. Showed you guys this before. You can deep quarter, deep quarter. Move this guy out if you want. Maybe uh, maybe spy this guy and, and hard flat here. So now you have, um, now you kind of have a cover six look where you have two deep quarters on the outside, I mean, a deep corner on the outside, a deep corner in the middle, and then the cover two shell on the left, and you have a spy. So this is another way you can just take away Vic. And if you if they don't have Vic or they have a slow QB or something, you don't have to spy this guy. You can keep him in his zone. Maybe you can. Maybe you want to blitz this guy, like I showed you guys in the video before. Um, so it's a little bit messed up because um, because of all the flipping that I've done. But if you guys want to see that, it'll be in the playlist at the end. Three, three, five. Um, I'll have a card as well. To show you guys how to do the four man blitz, but then you can hard flat here. So I don't I, I decided I don't need to spy. So I'm gonna do the four man blitz with my nickel and uh, I can set my cover six with the linebacker instead in the hard flat. That's something you guys could do. So let's reset again. Just giving you guys a bunch of different things you guys can do. Um something else that you guys can do if you guys are playing like a say you're playing a tight set, right? Like a like a split close or a gun tight, something like that, right? Maybe you want a full out cover four shell. Cause they have deep corner routes on both sides and uh maybe you want to do this now i have a spy which will kind of guard the middle of the field and stop them from running with their qb and you have outside deep quarters on both sides imagining we're in a split close or a gun tight to take away deep corner routes on both sides because tight formations are really good at getting corner routes over clouds so if you get these baseline uh pressed deep quarters you'll take that away and then you have the hard flats to take away like a like the bench part, uh, like the like the baby five yard out routes. And then you have a spy to kind of guard some drags for a second and help you out in the middle of the field. So you could do that. Um, 
now what else could you do what else could you do oh so if you want to so let's go let's just talk about being aggressive here so if we're sending six right something you could do so if they're in a trip set right so just keep in mind the blitz isn't perfectly set up right uh, because of all the resetting and flipping disregard the way that it looks okay so this is just for the coverage adjustments if you guys want to see the blitz like I said I'll have a card and at the playlist at the end I have a nickel three through five playlist it covers everything so so maybe you want to get aggressive here right so I'm sending six at them and they're in a trips so I have a hard flat on the left and maybe I man this guy up on the bunch side now just this trip side is mine I'm not worried about AJ Green literally I'm sending six I'm just making sure to take away the first read here uh, maybe they drag someone from the right so maybe they drag Eifert I stay with Eifert for a second till he gets to my hard flat then I can move back to Boyd and Ross that's just something you could do maybe they maybe they go flood concept maybe they maybe they drag AJ Green they flat Eifert they corner out uh, Boyd and they streak Ross right so what you can do is you know that drags gonna be taken away from Green you lurk the flat for a second then bounce back to the streak in the in the corner out if it's gonna get over your cloud flat that's another thing you can do um, just if you're sending six and this is like this is good against a trip set too like if they're in a trips uh, trips like trips wide like, like trips wide flex or gun trio or uh, what's another one I mean trips tight end you can man up the tight end this way like just imagine AJ Green is the tight end um, what's another one uh, Y trips, gun Y trips. They have that ISO receiver on the left and the trips to the right. Uh, W's formation. You can man up the ISO right here to take it away early, and you're sending the crib at them. Um, this is probably my favorite way to send six, no matter what formation they're in. Well, if they're in doubles, you can't do it this way. But if they're in any type of trips bunch, uh, Y trips, trips Y uh, flex, um, trail Y flex, trip side in, anything like that. I like to man up the ISO side. Have a have a cover two shell on the right cloud D path, probably a hard flat on the ISO side since we're manning up that side, and then uh, we're sending the crib, so we're just taking away their first couple reads. That's something you, I like to do against trips. Um, let's let's go back out of here and let's get into a doubles to show you guys what I would like to do out of out of a coverage adjustments against the doubles. Um, I don't really control it here. Gun doubles, that's fine. Doesn't really matter to play. Um, I probably want it to the wide side, so let me move it over. But yeah, so now we're sending six again, and now it'll look more right. So you guys can see now, this is more like the blitz that I set up uh, in the video since we haven't reset or anything yet. However, so since we're sending six and they're in a doubles, something I might do is so that you see the running back side and then you see the non running back side. I'm going to consider the, the running back side three possible receivers that can go out since the running back was probably going to go out to the right very rarely is he going to do anything to the left unless they some for some reason swing him left or something or if it's like a pa slide but that's that's rare so something i do is i'll man up both on the on the left side just maybe bring this guy down a little bit um just hope that they can take them away take those routes away for the first two seconds of the play before they're sacked and then i have anything coming across the middle if they drag eifert he's mine if they drag ross he's mine Maybe pull this deep half down a little bit. Uh, if they if they do a flood concept on the right, so maybe they corner out Eifert, Streak, Ross, and Table Rock, Bernard. I lurk Bernard for a second and then bounce back to the middle. And this is just what you're trying to do since you're sending six, you're only just trying to take away the first couple reads. Um, so that's just something you could look at. Now, I could do some, show you some more stuff sending four. So if you're blitzing this guy, um, I really would probably just spy this guy or... Uh, or Mabel and spy him, one or the other. I do really like Mabeling right now because I feel like a lot of people are going to like corner out concepts with flats and being able to take that away. People are using zigs. I use a lot of zigs, so when people Mabel me, it bothers me a lot. Um, just being able to Mabel right now is really, really good. So that's something you guys could do. Um, just reset one more time here. So really you can do whatever you want. If for, if for some reason you wanted a match, um, like maybe they're doing a route like a flood concept without a streak and you want your outside guy to match him you could uh outside third him and then like hard flat this guy so you could do that and if you wanted to send six if you didn't want to send six you could um you could spy this guy and bird hook here 
you can do whatever you want. So I deep third in instead of deep quartering if I want that match. There's just really so many, there's really endless possibilities of what you can do. Um, the coverage adjustments that you can put on any player is almost unlimited. So uh, this is the last thing I'll show you guys. So if you guys want to do a double cross man setup, um, so the first one you do is the nickel, just cross, uh, flip the play, and then you can cross man on circle. So I have him cross man. And then maybe maybe I'll move this guy down and kind of get him in a, like a almost a nickel spot or a dime spot. And now I have now I have double crossman across the field. Maybe I spy this guy, and and if they do any type of crosser from Green or Ross, it's probably not going to get open, almost no matter what. And then you just have responsibility of covering anything that's not coming across the middle of the field. If Boyd go, comes across the middle of the field or Eifert, you guard them, or any type of corner routes. So. I mean, there's really endless possibilities of what you guys could do. Um, I hope this was helpful for you guys. If it was, like, comment, and subscribe. Take it easy, man. Peace.